Hey guys, this is Eddie. Uh, in the next series of videos, I'm going to show you guys how I create a whole new uh, website from scratch um, using HTML and uh, hopefully uh, you guys will get something out of watching my tutorials, maybe get a better understanding of how a person could create their own website uh, from scratch. Um, without using any sort of software. So the first thing that you would notice is um, I have already got my own domain name so if you go into my uh, about description um, you'll see that I have now a link called Magic Monk Tutorials if you click on that uh, right now it brings you to my website uh, magicmonktutorials.com and I haven't done anything yet I've just got site under development because I want to use this to uh, to teach you guys how to build a website so the first step I want to talk about is how I got this domain name so what I did was uh, if you go to Google and uh, what you do is you type in to Google domain name regist registration and you can just look down uh, in the list uh, to see you know what um, which company is the best for registering a domain name so magicmonktutorials.com is, is a domain name that I registered myself uh, so go to a um, go to one that you think is best you definitely don't have to use the one that I use so basically the one that I chose to use is uh, Namecheap Namecheap.com so basically all I did is I went on their website and uh, from here register your domain name so what I did was I typed in Magic Monk Tutorials and I click search and uh, you would see that um, the magicmonktutorials.com is already taken so I've already bought that domain so uh, basically you just search for whatever you want to search for so let's say you want to start a website called um, uh, let's say coffee coffee.com and uh, all you gotta do is look down the list and unfortunately all of them are taken so that's a bit crazy uh, so basically you gotta search for something that um, is suitable for whatever website you wanna buy and then uh, let's say you want this one you click on that and then you're gonna click add to cart and then uh, you're just gonna click um, check out and you're gonna have to go from there fill in all your details and so on which I'm not I'm not gonna do right now because um, because that will be pretty stupid uh, for me to for me to pay for another domain name uh, and then what you're gonna do is um, so once you buy your own domain name what you're gonna do is uh, next thing you want to do is search for a uh, web hosting service web hosting service alright and uh, there are many places where you can get web hosting um, so do your own search on um, whatever is best basically it's just a, a place where you can store your files on the internet so uh, you you would notice that Namecheap does uh, web hosting as well so there's web hosting here uh, one thing that you gotta check for is that it has cPanel alright so uh, the reason why you want cPanel is because uh, that's the one I'm gonna use so decide on whatever you think is best and then once you have both a domain name as well as a web hosting service 
Uh, the next thing you're going to do is to link them together. So uh, what you're going to do is you're going to have to log into Namecheap. So uh, I won't show you guys all the login details and stuff, but basically you log in, and then you're going to go to Domain Name Server Setup, and then here is where uh, if you have an external hosting service, so uh, for example, for me, I um, I got hosting somewhere else. Uh, then what I do is I would put in this custom DNS service here in this in these two boxes. And so when people type in magicmonktutorials.com, uh, they will go to this DNS server here, uh, which will then um, find out where my uh, website is hosted. Right, uh, so if you use Namecheap for your hosting, then you just click this one, use Namecheap hosting, or you have your own DNS server. So you click there, type your address in, and then after a couple of days, uh, it should work. Well, at least it did for me. No guarantees for, for uh, anything else. Okay, so once you've done all that, then you should have your own uh, website. So uh, then you go to uh, your own website. Um, so magicmonktutorials.com, that's my website. So to edit my website, I just type slash cpanel. It's going to let me log into my account to edit my website. So uh, make sure your web hosting service has uh, cpanel. But anyway. Um, so I'm going to log into my uh, cPanel. Okay, and once you log into your cPanel, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to go into your um, your file manager. So click file manager and click web root and this is your uh, this is your uh, web folder and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on um, index.html and you're gonna click on edit and click edit so what that means is um, I can just type in the whatever I want to appear on my page and then uh, once you save changes you should be able to see it on, on your new web browser so I okay so once you get up to here that's the end of my first tutorial I know there's quite a few things to do but if you can get up to here it means uh, you are ready to start building your own website so good luck see you next time